Good morning everyone. So today we are making yakisoba. This is Rose Gengner and um, I decided last night that I am going to make yakisoba since I got this um, pancit noodle um, at the, um, the new uh, Asian market here in San Antonio. If you guys never been there, come visit them. They are very, very supplied um, uh, market now. When they started, they have not much in there. So now they do. They have a lot selection of noodles. So fresh from dry, from frozen. So go visit them. Um, so, yakisoba. I learned this and this is one of my favorite dish in uh, Okinawa when, I, when we lived there. And... Um, so, what we need, we need cabbage, we're going to shred this, and carrots, and half of the onion, and that's all there is to it, this right here. But, the sauce is going to be a lot, a lot. so we're going to need a little bit of this rice vinegar, and sesame oil, if you don't have sesame oil in hand, olive oil, cooking oil will do, alright? So, we need ketchup. Uh, it's also nice if you have tomato paste, but we don't have, so I'll, I do have, but I do want to open it because I only need a little bit. So we'll do ketchup because we're going to need brown sugar in a way, and I do want to use brown sugar, so I'm just going to use ketchup, so it'll be sweet. And then steak sauce also a little bit, and no kidding, we need soy sauce. And of course, we're not using all the whole jug. Um, I buy big jug of soy sauce because uh, it's cheaper that way and I got this at the um, um, what's it called the Korean um, uh, market uh, by the Ritiman all right so um, we're gonna go ahead and so first we're gonna try to mix up our so uh, sauce so in here just need a tablespoon of, see, that's a real tablespoon, because we don't want a lot of this. So everything is tablespoon. All right, and then this one too, just one cup of this, that's about a tablespoon. Okay, so rice vinegar, so this is rice season vinegar. And my husband loved using this for his um, salad. Instead of uh, he makes vinegar uh, salad. I mean, a dressing for this uh, for his salad. And um, somehow he really, really liked it. And also sesame oil, about a tablespoon, right there. Okay, so all you have to do just mix it up, right there. That's why I always tell my um, my. Um, a customer when I'm working and um, they wanted, you know, and, and we have at work, we have a pasta bar section and they don't want, you know, our regular um, sauce. I told them, you know, uh, make your own um, sauce. And so I told them, you know, what to do and um, they like it. They come back and they said, I really like that suggestion, Rose. So, um, yeah, you can um, creatively make your own sauce. So, there's half an onion. I'm going to wash half. Okay. And so, we just julienne the onion. Also, some of the carrots really need, you know, the carrots just really for color and, you know, uh, the texture of it. So, you don't, you don't need plenty, just like this much. And right there. Okay, one more. And this one's already pre washed. This the 
cabbage dito yung home. Maybe I'll need to use all of them. Do that. There. Alright. So, when you cut cabbage, see this? You hand here. And just like that. See? And you get shredded cabbage this way. Soba, um, it's a very simple, very quick dish to cook. And um, when I'm craving for noodle, I always run to yakisoba or just uh, pancit. Pancit got more um, thing to do than uh, yakisoba. And uh, I like the yakisoba because you give that nice bold uh, noodle. So what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna cook all of this. So. We need to wash this. You don't have to, but it's nice to wash. I'll get my strainer so right here. Okay, so we're just gonna go ahead and rinse this off. Just a little bit. Just to loosen it. Okay, so we use this guy right here. like that so that we don't wanna yeah so okay we go ahead and in here I just leave it there so in here you guys I have um, leftover pork chop from the other meal so I'm gonna do I'm gonna use this um, you know for the um, yakisoba because yakisoba is known to be have um, you know pork Mostly pork, um, not too much on chicken. Right, so also in here, I already cheated a little bit. I have sausage, I have sausage I need to use, so I decided I'm gonna put sausage. Right, so we need to uh, high a little bit. So it looks really good. And see, um, do not throw away your leftover meat. Uh, if you have leftover meat, you can make another dish of it. And if you don't know how to use them or you confuse what to use, make um, please um, make. Um, a note or a comment on my on my page and um, before you throw your uh, your meat away because I have some people who called me before I even have the YouTube so I told them I should start charging people 1-800 because they call you know asking what to do you know, with their meat they have this meat I like this like that you know and um, it will save you some money Ooh. Somehow, my stove just died. All right. Okay, guys. So... Alright, so we're gonna put our onion and carrots. Okay, so we put the cabbage on the side for now. Good, isn't it? It's a very simple dish. So now you know if you have barbecue or a fried pork chop, don't throw it away. 
So we just need to cook the uh, carrots a little bit because, you know, we can eat the carrots raw. Uh, I like it a little crunchy. So as long as the meat's cooked, the, the meat's been here for a while while I was uh, while, um, making our uh, sauce. So now we put our noodles. Okay. It looks really good. When I was growing up, my parents, you know, on a weekend, when um, they find money, so the first, first dish that they can think of is pancit. And they would cook, you know, coarse pork. And they would buy, um, you know, um, pork that's got bone in it and have some meat. So my parents will make two dishes on that. Uh, half a kilo of uh, bone pork and they will take out some you know the meat so that we can have this uh, pansi right so have you noticed I never put any oil yet um, you can but in here I'm just gonna add a little water So the yakisoba is supposed to be dry, like really dry um, dish. Just like, you know, for a Friday, Friday night movie and you order Chinese takeout, the chow mein, uh, fried noodles. So that's why it's like. So now. So remember in this sauce, you didn't see me put soy sauce. I'd want to put the soy sauce over here. So just this one for now. Okay. And then there's the soy sauce. All right. So now we're going to let it sweat out a little bit. And then while we're sweating that, put this cabbage. It's almost done. It's very quick dish. And you don't have to go order food. You can just make this. Uh, this worth making, you know, if you have a lot of, um, you know, uh, family of four, family of three. Because uh, you really save some money. Try to sweat out a little bit. So I'm gonna add about a tablespoon of water again. Okay, let's see. Sweat out a little bit. Looks so good, you yeah, guys. Look at that. So, if you want uh, a little more soy sauce, you can add. So, I'm not gonna put a lot more because I know my husband. He would put soy sauce before he even tried, you know, testing the food if it's salty or not. I think it's a habit. Uh, so, this is my breakfast today before I go to work. It looks so delicious. All right, so it is done. So we're gonna give it a plate.
turn that off. Of course, we want a lot of sausage, some cabbage. So you, by the way, you can put onion, uh, green onion in here because on the uh, if you go to Japan, that's what they're gonna do. They're gonna put green onion. But um, I don't wanna take a trip to my garden. So this is you guys. So this one's always nice, um, you know. There you go. It looks like spaghetti, isn't it? But. It's good look. I need some pork. I'll let you know if it's good. I'm pretty sure it's good because I've done this before. Oh, so good. Mm -mm. Yes, that sauce. You know, the ketchup and the rice vinegar gives that nice, tangy, you know, really nice, nice flavor. So I hope you guys will try this at home and um, let me know. All right, so this is Rose Gegner. Again, don't forget to uh, subscribe if you, you did not subscribe yet. And please um, help me. Get more subscribers. We need more subscribers so that we can go live. I mean, a worldwide. That would be fun, isn't it? All right, guys. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.